Hi everybody, this is Short Mr. Fees. I'm very excited to be able to come on live today. I wanted to share one very interesting quick idea with you. And many of you are probably familiar with that. We have been hearing a lot about sustainable development goals and uh, all the organizations actually, those who are conscious, those who care about this planet Earth, they have been trying to contribute uh, in order for the sustainable development goals to be achieved. The UN, the development partners, the government, the private sectors, the NGOs cannot uh, deliver this alone. We all uh, need to come forward to helping in order for the citizens of the planet Earth to enjoy the benefits of sustainable development goals. And what are those goals? Uh, you can have a look at that. Uh, if you are not aware of it, please do check and, and see how it links to your work. So today our focus is not to explain the sustainable, so all those 17 sustainable development goals. Many people say that those are like 17 dreams, 17 aspirations, 17 uh, goals, actually uh, 17 ambitions, hopes, 17 hopes. Uh, these are actually, you know, something uh, we, we all can play our part uh, to help uh, achieve. So, you know, today, as I said, uh, the focus uh, is on something else. So if you, if you talk about those goals, in order for us to deliver those goals, we need resources. Uh, we need uh, uh, resources in terms of human, financial, physical information. And uh, financial resources is very important. Resource population is very important for any organization for profit, not profit. Today, uh, we are going to touch base how uh, usually charities, not for profit and NGOs are funded. As not, not non-profit organizations, charity, not for profit and NGOs rely on a variety of sources for funding, uh, projects, operations, salaries, and other overhead costs. Because the annual budget of a charity, not for profit, and NGO can be in the hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars. Fundraising efforts are important for the charity, not for profit, and NGOs existence and success. Fundraising sources include mem membership dues, sell for goods and services, private sector, for-profit companies, philanthropic foundations, grants uh, from institutional donors, bilateral donors, multilateral donors, state and federal agencies, as well as foreign governments and private uh, donations. These are the usual sources of funding. Individual private donors can comprise a significant portion of charity and not-for-profit and NGO funding. Some of these donations come from wealthy individuals such as Ted Turner, one billion donation to the United Nations. Another example as reported by CNBC would be Warren Buffett's 2006 pledge to give 10 million Berkshire Hathaway Class B shares to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, valued to more than 31 billion in June 2006. As of the end of 2021, Buffett had donated a total of 32.7 million to the Gates Foundation. Nevertheless, charity, not-for-profit, and NGOs also can rely on a large number of small donations rather than a small number of large donations. So I'm repeating, not-for-profit, charity, and NGOs can rely on a large number of small donations rather than a small number of large donations. Despite the independence from government, a number of charity, not-for-profit, and NGOs rely heavily on government funding function as well. Some government charity, not-for-profit and NGO funding may be viewed as controversial because the funding may dampen a charity, not-for-profit and NGO's ability to advocate politically or attempt to achieve radical goals. However, we need resources. If we represent a not-for-profit, a charity or NGO, we need resource, we need money. Uh, we, we should be able to have more capacity so that we can help the beneficiaries or the hard to reach people or the community we have been trying to work for, we have been already serving in, in order for us to serve them well, I think we need resources. So, so these are the very quick uh, points that we wanted to share and if you want to explore more, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to share with us, feel free to get in touch and we can uh, explore synergies going forward. So as a final point, we will say that in order for you to serve better the community, Resource is a must and you should be able to have a sustainable business model so, so that you can optimize your resources. Thank you everybody.